Got a new motor for 57 coming out right there. She is. You gonna tell what it is right now, or are you gonna wait? Uh, it's a 327. But it's, you walk over and look at the head, you'll see that the ports are not exactly stocked. <laughs> something camel hump with the bolt holes angle plug turbo heads first set I've ever seen in Y'all person ain't never seen a set either it's got some good stuff in it sounds real good it's like 12 and a half the ones in it some good shit so it's going in that picture today right now in a minute all right. got all the stuff off of it and uh fixing to put her in there so Huh? I don't think it's in backwards. Why would they put that in backwards? They will do that shit. But anyway, we're making a little progress. You gotta race on 26. You gotta race on 26. 26. Gassers. Southeast Gassers. Come check us out. It's gonna be a blast. Don't know if it's gonna be faster. Don't know if it's gonna be slower, but we're gonna be down there doing something. Making noise anyway, so. Maybe we can fire it up tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. That's the that's goal. Maybe fire it up, so. We'll see. Whole thing sounds good. Wait do you hear it. Sounds pretty good. Justin's ready. Hell, I'm ready. You ready? 26, don't forget it, the 26 Southeast Geysers. Greer. Come on down there. Bring the kids, bring the family, bring whoever you want. Come on down there. We'll be down there having a good time. If you want to go back in time, come on down there. Bad penny be waiting on. There it is. You see it. The stars. Tradition. You want some luck? Put some stars, stars on it. <laughs> yes, it is. Just look at every one way around, it'll have some stars on it. I guarantee you that. Jojo. Yeah, it's a good JoJo. I put them on his, he puts them on mine. Can't do it to your own motor. Dad has more motor than me. Huh? <laughs> you had more swaps than me. <laughs> yeah, if you look at that little damn plate right there, that's all our motor swap lines right there. And they get in, they steal more. Yep, going back together. Motor's in, train's on, clutch is all good, everything's lined up. Putting a ton of ram on it. T ram. So, made pretty good progress. Kind of tedious putting a clutch and all that stuff on there because you got to get everything right and keep it clean and get it good and straight or you'll have a hell of a time putting transmission on there. But we're going back the other way now. Starting on the, the easy step, I guess you'd call it. No, Not really. The puzzle back yeah, it's just one big puzzle. Ain't none of it real easy, but we're getting it done. Still got some daylight. Still got a couple hours, two or three hours. We're getting it though. It's all good. Road to Bristol, baby. Road to Greer. Road to Shady Side. Just a road. All right. Valve covers are going on. Change the valve covers out. Put the old style valve covers back on and everything. And uh, getting a little late in the day. The thrash is winding down, but. You talk about thrash, let me tell you something. We don't just work on one. Check this out. Come on, Carla. Let's go over here and show you something. Had to keep this on the wraps, but anyhow, this ain't no thrash. We thrash it. I mean, we thrash, so. Do this look right here. There it is. Almost ready, it's in, all done. Richard Rockers, those are the aluminum heads off the uh, 57, give her a little more pony. And uh, it's all done, everything's in, just got some more touch up stuff to do, run the fuel line stuff, put the valve cover and stuff on it. But uh, there you go, now that's a thrash. He's over there, I'm over there, come back over here, and I'm back over there, and I'm back over here, Two at a time, but the motor's in this and the motor's in the 57. And there you go, that's how you thrash. That's what we've been doing, busting ass. Get this motor done, get it back in the truck. It's back in the truck, everything's bolted up. Got the fuel pressure and stuff up. Ain't spun it over nothing yet, but it should be fine. So, the little break in and she'll be rocking. So, if all goes good with the break in, we're just set. So, might fool with that some more after the race, but uh, we're gonna try to get the 57 knocked out. But, uh, Richard's motor's in and then she is ready to rock. We're gonna, I'm not going to run these valve covers. 
that's all I had for tonight because I want to get it sealed up. They got the gaskets and stuff on it. I'm going to take his chrome ones that uh, was in that box that come off that motor and we're going to make him some valve covers to put on it. And uh, I'll show you the pan out there in just a little while. But uh, here's the box of goodies. Whenever this box is full. There you go. It's all in that motor. Use every piece of it. There might be a couple little brackets and stuff left too. Or somewhere there's a couple brackets and stuff that's still left. But uh, for the most part, the truck is about to come out. Fit 7 is about to get running. And we have thrashed ass in the rain or whatever. It's a little we could. A couple days here, there, and yonder. But it's all coming together at one time. So hang on, y'all. That's a skull garage thrash right there. That's what I've been telling you about. Thrash. Put the head down and get it. <laughs> that right, Jeff? Everything you said. I huh? what said, but that's right. I thought we was thrashing on both of them at the same time. Yeah, this ain't changing the carburetor. It's motor out, motor out, tore apart, tore apart, back together, same time. <laughs> I'm buying a carburetor out of a box. <laughs> road to Bristol, baby. The road to Bristol. Everything's going to be going. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. You ever seen such a stuff? Look. Looks like a big hole. I told you, when I tell you knee deep, I mean knee deep in Chevrolet. There it is. Knee deep. Knee deep. All the way around. This is now down through here and all the way back. All the way over there, there's Hot Rod Alley right now. There's a Suburban. You ever seen when I say knee deep? That's what I'm talking about, knee deep in Chevrolet. We are knee deep. Just jamming. That's how we do it. We jam. But uh, it's about all done. That's pretty cool, ain't it? <laughs> Just keep watching. Skull Garage is great. Anyway, got the valve covers and stuff on this thing. Had to move my fuel lines again. There's that big breather right there. But uh, just wanted to get them valve covers on this thing. We're going to be in a dry tonight. There's the finished product. That's how it's going to look. It's got the tunnel ram stuff on it, but once we get it running and get her to jamming, get it, everything sorted out, get it broke in good and everything. Got something else big coming. So, Turk, I'm ready. Getting ready, buddy. Getting ready every day. But anyway. This is for Richard and Carla. Hope you and Dennis like it. I really do. But uh, we worked hard on it. Spent a bunch of time on it. In the dark, not in the dark, in the mud, in the rain. But uh, she's right there. All his pieces are in it. So he'll be cruising his old truck and uh, hope it runs good enough. That's why I put them heads on there because them some damn good heads. And with them 9 8 to 1 pistons, it'll run pretty damn good. So. Got the block out of the 57 sitting in there, the short block with it, so I'll put some other heads on it and do something with it. And I don't know what, might just keep it as an extra from, just in case I blow that over there up because I don't know how to run. But anyway, I hope y'all like it and uh, kind of kept it under the wraps until we got it all, you know, everything sorted out. And I know you want to come here and help on it, but we've just been jamming and rocking and rolling and uh, just want to get it all done before summertime really gets here so it can come out and. 57 can be running, the truck can be running. We was trying to make it all before the race day, but the rain stuff kind of slowed us down. But anyway, for all of you who don't know, this is a motor that was uh, in one of our buddies. He's in Skull Garage, part of the Skull Garage family, and uh, unfortunately had a four wheel accident and got, got killed. And uh, this is a motor out of a truck he had, and he liked this old piece of shit truck of mine. And uh, Dennis and Carla, that's uh, his dad and his wife. And we have the motor to put in this truck and run around, you know. So I think Richard's gonna like it. Somebody's gonna run pretty damn good. Ain't that right, Dustin? Told me hope I like it with busted ass on it. Yeah, look at it. How can you not like it? It's a truck. <laughs> that sums it up right there. It's you just a truck. Like truck. So anyway, cool. it's getting dark. Hot Rod Alley is still wide open and rocking. All the intake about to go back on. Strippers in, plug wires, plugs, headers. Got to go water pump, bottom we pulley, radiator. Let <laughs> me just bust out a light and keep right on rocking. Yeah, it ain't but nine, ten or something. Halfway like warm, man. That's nice out here. Quiet. Listen, that's not quiet.
And that's Sasquatch. That's Sasquatch. I think we heard a stone being thrown there a while ago. I think it's a squatch. Oh. <laughs> mm. Go up and do one of those stupid calls and see if we can get one to come out. You're already out here. Yeah. Well, oh. We did see a damn UFO. That's true. Yeah, that was real. That was real deal. See it with my own two eyes. It's on YouTube if you just look. It really happened. No, not that one. The one we seen out here ain't on YouTube. Oh, yeah, the real, the big one's that, no, yeah. Yeah, that, that, you won't believe that one. If we'd have found that one, that would have been a Geraldo Rivera thing. Geraldo Rivera. All right, top of the intake is going on. The late night oil still burning. So. Let's go garage late night, whatever it takes. It's got the carbs back on it, intake's all sealed up. The plug wires are on it, all the headers up, water pumps on it, tie down chains on it, motor mounts are tight, all there is going on. So then the and then the radiator and the shroud and we might call it the I just fiddle farting around. I can't start tonight, it's dark. I'm getting close for tomorrow. Do what? You can actually try it here, This is a mountain, this is backwards. Well we ain't got starter shit on it. Uh, I'll crawl in there. Oh shit! You ready? You be asleep, you crawl in there. But anyway, That's we got our second we got our big light on. This is our sunshine when we ain't got nothing. We but uh, we kind of put stuff back in the suburban. Our other garage we had all that stuff. All the stuff's been laying out here today. We got had packed in the suburban. So this thing gets kind of blurry of a night because it's freaky and it's a little air's a little cool and a little damp. So anyway, you get the idea. Yeah. Clean up. Like that, it's your head down the thread. We turned it on since so it started getting late. Nobody up here, nobody talking, nobody nothing, just lazy DC. <laughs> and nothing. The raccoon come up here, check this out, cruise on up through there. He was like, He was the calmest raccoon I ever saw. He's, He's like, like, What's, what's up? up? I was like, What up, Rack? And he just cruised on. <laughs> he just cruised. What up, Rack? <laughs> Foaming at the mouth, no bite now. But I, tomorrow we ought to hear it. Yeah, I gotta put the shifter in it and I can't put the drive shaft in, I gotta have that balance. Put the shifter in it and everything's hooked up. See if it'll bat bat. We'll find out. But the carbs are good, everything's good, the motor's run, so I'll just a little bit of time and setting and maybe a little twinky dinky with the carburetor, I don't know how it's gonna run and reset my linkages and all that shit and Z bar. Get the clutch hooked back up and get it where it's jamming, make sure it works. So, we'll see. Hope it's a nice dry day because if it is, it'll run tomorrow. Well, if it ain't, we got a tent. A decent, a decent day. Yeah, it's a lot nicer than what we have worked in. So, it can always get worse. But anyway, we thrashed and got it done. So, <laughs> that's how we do it. I wanted to be at least this just far. Like, that's why I was telling him, I said, like this, it's out here and it's dark. It's the best time to just, just fucking get it with the car. There ain't no, ain't no thing about nothing else. You just, you get in it and you just go, head down. That's all we do. It. You it. get locked down. Yeah, obviously. But like in the dark, hell, this is normal for us. I mean, this is the way we used to. What was fun is we sit down there eating and we're like, well, let's go up here and put the water pump on and then we can call it. And, and you're like, well, I'll stick that on there. Well, then put that other thing on it. And the way we got this thing set up, it's just like bing, bing, boom, boom. And it's all together. It's the way we fix it. Love this design. car. Love it. So, anyway, everybody's probably in the bed, but we're still up. Hold on, let's see what time it is. Time is it? Time oh, check. Hold on, let me look. We're going to put the front end on wrap it up because I've been up since. It is. Can't. 1026. 1026. April 5th. I got up at 5 o'clock yesterday morning and slept for three hours. So. <laughs> as hard as it gets. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. You either, if you sleep, you're not getting nothing done. So. There it is. At least we're ahead of the game because we got two more weekends now. Just we like, got just like we go at it like this is the last weekend. That's what we've done. So. That's the only way to do it. That Pretty way you close. got time to tinker. Give it time to shake it down a little bit and see how it runs, if it does run or whatever. We have no idea. It was in. And we just put the starter and stuff on it and fired up a second ago and it runs. It runs. <laughs> <Right here. laughs>
We've had vacuum leaks, but. Still a little teeny. It sounds good right there, the idle. Sounds like that's close. You can hear when you well, yeah, when you think. when you adjusted that side over there, it cleaned back up. Uh, these little tweaks. I think really, man, it bounces off the, the boxes on 62, and it just it just hit it there just every time it hits it. Sounds all right to me. That's better than two fours, don't it, Jeff? <laughs> yes, it does. No runs, no grips. 327 in the 57 Chevy. Oil pressure stays at about 60 uh, all the time.
Wednesday from nothing to running today. Yeah, yesterday it wasn't running, so. It wasn't even in the car yesterday. Yeah, it wasn't in the car yesterday. Started morning. yesterday morning. morning. It was in a suburban, so. Here's another thrash, and. That's how you do it. Sounds good, and it's a little 327. It just is what it is, and it sounds like it sounds, so. Sounds pretty damn spunky to me. It's an old, old motor. Yeah, it's an old motor. It was in a race car, and uh, I just happened across it. Got super nice heads. And Grumpy's supposed to be real fond of Grumpy Jenkins. You might have heard of him. <laughs> and, uh, Look at Grumpy's motors. You'll see them same yeah, style heads. Grumpy's motors with them heads on them all day long. So same tunnel so, ram, same setup he had. Same tunnel ram as Grumpy, so it's a, <laughs> we'll see. He had six sixties instead of six hundreds though. Yeah. So and he had a roller cam. We'll see. And there you go, that's vacuum secondary. People hate them on the tunnel ram, but those two right there are just perfect, fun. They never give a damn. They're fine. <laughs> you can't do that shit right there and say it. And in case the secondaries don't vacuum open, this is what we did. Yeah. See? See that little screw in there? Yeah, you can take put that little screw in there. And, and make them move open. Or, move your screw, you know, back and forth, because you will have a damn bog. Just get it to right where it, you could, you just, it's like setting the timing. You just get it to where it'll hit and it don't bog and then you got it. Yep, no pop or none of that. Yeah. If you move that screw back a little bit and they open too soon, it'll, 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 it'll hick up and call. You just keep messing with it, keep messing with it. And the vacuum secondary, if it don't pull enough vacuum to open them, we didn't know if these is opening or not, so we damn sure know they're opening now. But, uh, sounds odd. It ain't, you know, it's in there. Had to run if it's faster than another motor. I don't know if it's stronger than another motor. I have no idea, but it sounds pretty damn healthy. Mm -hmm. so. It'll turn farther than the other motor. Yeah, it spins up a lot easier than that other, that's for sure. About 62 is about all my other one wanted, and that and just gets up there with new half of yeah. it all. So we'll probably put the rev limiter at seven. I don't know. We'll just have to drive it and see. I'd say put it at seven. We'll just rev her up there and put the slicks on it, and bam. See what happens. Yep. It'll go that way or go that way. Yep. Or go under apart. <laughs> yeah, you'd go either way. You'll go the other track or push it off the other end. So I've been down both. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, you've been pushed off a track and we pushed it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've been pushed. Dad first pass the fifty seven, we push it off a track. First time and we first pass in mine. This little throttle you can drive here. We got these freaking high dollar super billet one of a kind go kart home joints on here. And it just pulled right out of the threads. It's just pretty first burn out. Boom! Yeah. Like, Shit. That was fun pushing it with that spool. So we weren't going to redo all that, but we pulled that linkage off right there in the parking lot down there at Greer and took a chisel and... Yeah, Dad hammered some it. bitches on there now. Yep. And they come off sand, so... Nope. It worked. It's just plain old shit. We just had fun. Oh, my room sounds good. Well, this is this is real motor. That's real deal. We figure it's just fake that it's meant to be in this old car since yep. it's old 327. And uh, we'll just, it's on now just to see with 26, we'll find out. It's either faster or slower, but it's running. So. Either way, if it's slower, we got other stuff we can do. Uh, well, it ain't over yet. That ain't never over. Uh, it ain't never over. Sleep, eat, drink, and shit. This stuff. <laughs> yep, that's a thrash. Very little of the sleep part. That is a thrash. <laughs> From nothing to running in a weekend. Anybody can do it. it yeah, there ain't no ain't excuse. There ain't no special thing. It ain't, it ain't no, no excuse for anybody not to do it, it then. Don't spell you. I ain't got nothing. Though. We can do it out here in the gravel. So my bitches up. I got plain old shoes just like everybody else. Ain't nothing to do with it. <laughs> Ain't nothing to do But it is running, so. I think it's awesome. All right. We'll grill hot dogs here in a minute. Yeah, some hot rod dog. Drag dog. Now we go work on the truck back here. Yeah. Because we got to get the drive shaft bounce on this, and then that's pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, get the drive shaft bounce and uh, drive shaft in it and check the clutch and see if it'll hop around. If it'll move. That's the next thing is check the clutch on it. So, but I'm going to pause it right there. Nothing leaked. Everything's dry. We spilled some water. It's still dry. So. Success. 150 degrees. Yeah, I can't believe that. That was about 60 pound oil pressure. Must have been a mean motor. We'll see. It sounds good. I like the heads. I don't give a shit for it. Yeah. Damn it, exhaust leak. Yeah. Header gaskets suck. You ever seen a good header gasket? They don't make one yesterday. That's awesome. What? That's awesome. There we go. We're going to fart around and do something else now. Thrash goes on. We're going to take with the truck over now.
That's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to cook us a hot dog. But anyway, y'all, y'all out there, without that boy right there, this shit would not happen. He is a driving force. No, so well, you know that. Force. I'm learning. For so it. you know that. He's awesome. He's an awesome boy. Awesome man. Awesome kid. And I love him. I do. I do. I really. <laughs> the hell we celebrate success? <laughs> what was that again? <laughs> we grew up. Here's what we we'll do. Get a little hungry. Drag dogs up in the country.